Okay, so today we're going to look at how we can get some um, telemetry data off of our GoPros and put that on a video. It's a few steps, uh, but, it, but it's really pretty simple. Um, GoPros done a nice job with their program Dashware, and, and it's easy to, to do what, I, what you see here. Uh, this is from a recent uh, you know, you know, uh, event I went to with the Ford Raptor and you know I pulled this this data the altitude speed and grade which were those things that were important to me I pulled them off and I'm able to, to impose those on my videos and, uh, and I'm going to show you how to do the same so um, to do that you really have to start out by downloading this um, Go, GoPro Quick Q-U-I-K um, application, uh, the desktop app. You just go download it and install it on your PC. Um, they have it for Mac as well. It's, it's no big deal to do. Once you once you install that, um, then you'll see, you know, you'll have the, the app here. But I, I really don't want to edit my videos in there. I just really downloaded that to get um, to get a certain a certain file. And what we have to do is, you know, you download Dashware, you download this. We're going to transfer a file that comes in the um, GoPro Quick app. Um, if you go to Program Files, GoPro, Desktop App, Telemetry Data, Data Profiles, anything from the 5, 6, 7, Black, Silver, doesn't matter, all these different GoPros um, have this uh, XML file. And I, I had to uh, use the 7 black. I think I also used the 5. I don't think it matters, um, but I don't have a 5. So I, I did a 7 black. And what you do is you just copy this file into, um, you go to Dashware. You find it in your program files. You find Dashware, Data Tool, Data Profiles, and just copy that file right into, um, right into that uh, directory. And then you're going to be able to use this in Dashware. So that'll be the next step. So what happens, you go and you, you run your, your camera. You get your video file off the camera. Um, you open up Dashware, like you see here. And then um, you start a project. And so we're going to say new project. And I'm just going to pick, pick something. I'll just say new. I'll just call it new one. Okay new one simple um, and say okay you're gonna add a whole bunch of data here this is just default stuff usually I just say control a and I blow all that away because I want to do my own thing you go to the toolbox the gauge box and you can you know virtually pick up anything you want to <clears throat> we'd like to do something with speed let's just use that cause that's the kind of thing I did I don't want air speed um, but I, let's get a cool uh, speedometer um, I like miles per hour so I'm just going to put this on here all right and now I have speedometer and let's see if we can get uh, we don't want to lap stuff there's a lot of things in here um, and so we'll just let's just use speed that'll be enough for now so we got the speed you go back to your project you go ahead and get a video a video or <clears throat> that you would like to use. Um, I'll pick this video here. Well, let's pick this one. Okay. So now um, I'm pulling it in. You're going to see it's extracting the file. Okay. So this automatically happens because we, we copied that XML file there and it is now automatically copied over. The only thing you got to do is go in this profile and find, <clears throat> excuse me, find the GoPro. Okay. Pick GoPro. And then mine was upside down because I used a used a uh, camera mount. And then now, if I just go forward, you can see my speed is being recorded. Okay, we'll move forward in the video, and there you go. It is, you know, all around zero now because we're stopped. But you can see, like right here, we're going to go a little faster, right? Over 30 miles an hour. And it scales this thing based on the max speed of your video. So if you want, went much faster, you're going to be able to, to see that. So 
Um, that's really all there is to it. Um, and you can then use this to edit your video or you can do what I like to do, which is um, I'll create, I'll use this with a green screen. Okay, now I have a little bonus content to show you how to actually use green screen so that you can put your gauges into the, uh, into the project, but edit using something other than Dashware because it's not a very sophisticated editor. So it's two steps. The first step will be to create the green screen in a PowerPoint and, and be able to extend that for the length of your, uh, your data that you have in your gauges. And then I'll show you how to add that into uh, Dashware and, and be able to you know, use your video uh, data with um, what's available in uh, Dashware as far as gauges. Okay, so the next step is to create um, our green screen PowerPoint. And so what we do is we open up PowerPoint, just open a green, I'm sorry, a blank presentation, get rid of the default items here, go up and add a, just go ahead and add a window, or a rectangle to your window. And then we have to change the shape fill we can't pick any of the standard colors. We have to be very specific. Pick a color model that's going to work well as a green screen. And for that, you use red as 0, green is 177, blue is 64. And I went out and looked that up. I wanted to find out what filmmakers use. And that's it. Uh, those are the settings. So now we just save that. We're not going to save it as a PowerPoint, though. We're going to save it as. I'm going to save it as a JPEG, okay, and simply that, and we're just going to do the one slide, and that's it. So now you have your template for your green screen. Okay, so now the next step is to take that template that we built in PowerPoint and create basically a blank video with about 10 minutes or whatever your typical um, your typical flight's going to be, I pick 10 minutes. I typically don't fly over 10 minutes. Um, and so I will create a 10-minute green screen with, our, with my video editor. My favorite is Adobe Premiere Elements 15. I like it because you can just buy it once and you don't have a monthly fee. So uh, that's the one I chose. And it's pretty self-explanatory how to use it. It's not too bad. So we're going to add media. We're going to go Files and Folder. We are going to go to our tutorial. We have this presentation one. That's what we saved before. I'm just going to open that and then drag that into the main video for this. And then I'm going to extend that out maybe, you know, about 10 minutes or so. And all you do then, you know, bring it out as far as you like. All you do then is if you go back here and you can, you know, you can play. You can see it's not that exciting. It's just simply a green screen. I can play here and it plays a green screen. That's it. So now I want to take that and export it into a real video. And for me, I'll use 1080p, medium quality. You give it a name, a location, and then you save it. And it takes about, for me, it takes about, you know, two or three minutes to, to, to render and create a video from it. I won't bore you with that. I already did it before, so I'll just open that up and, and show you what the next step is. Okay, now that we have our green screen, I want to show you how to add it to the video. Okay, we started before with this video. We had the picture of our, you know, the video of our truck driving at a given speed. And really, all you got to do now is get rid of the video that you initially brought the data in with by removing it. And then go to wherever you saved your green screen that we created in the last step. Mine happens to just be under videos here. <clears throat> and I can open that up. And it doesn't do anything to the data. Um, the data is still good. If you remember about two and a half minutes, we were going around 25 miles an hour. And so I'll scroll out there and you see the data is still good, but it's in a green screen. And now all you have to do is uh, go to um, create video and create a video 
um, with your data. Then you take that video and import it into your project and use chroma key to remove the green screen. And then it will superimpose the, the remaining gauges right on top of your video and it works like a champ. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope the green screen part was helpful to you. Um, appreciate if you could uh, please subscribe to my channel and uh, give me a like for the video and uh, share it with your friends. Thanks.